Today I'm going to show you how to change oil and filters on a 2015 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. These are the tools that I'm going to use. The 27 uh, millimeter socket and the uh, extension. It should be long. Ratchet and the uh, 18 millimeter uh, socket also 13 millimeter socket for the drain oil drain plug and this is the Torx T25 Torx for the air, fil air filter and this is a pick to take the rubber gasket out and these are the three kinds of uh, gasket that I'm going to change of course we need a oil funnel this is the oil filter this is the uh, air filter and this is the uh, cabin filter I change uh, those filters every 20,000 miles or after uh, a year which ever come first and of course rubber gloves if you don't have rubber gloves you can use latex this is uh, 5 US quartz and uh, I'll be needing 6 quartz that's why I had 2 of them and then I'll just keep the rest for the next uh, change oil also this is the gripper I use that, that one because it's easy to maneuver and uh, move around underneath the vehicle and this is the ramp so I can raise the uh, car and uh, I can work underneath okay and of course you always have a need to have a clean rag the uh, stands and these are the uh, wedge under I mean to wedge the wheel it's always good to play safe okay come on let's go I'm gonna bring the car inside before I forget <laughs> this is very important <laughs> oil pan and this is uh, big enough because this contains uh, 18 quarts US quarts of oil and that specific car has only uh, six US quarts okay Let's take out the uh, engine oil cap and the engine cover. It's just a snap. There. Let's loosen the oil filter housing. Don't take it out all the way, just loosen it up. Okay, that's good enough. Let's take out one of this uh, cover bolt. Set it aside, don't lose it. And then there is one here in front okay there now I have to push this inside and out okay that's easy okay now I'm going to take the uh, oil drain plug okay 
it shouldn't be that tight there see okay you should be careful okay because the oil will shoot out forcefully so you should be careful okay it's coming out coming out almost there there see it shoot out forcefully right Okay, now we can take this oil filter housing totally, I mean, you know, take it out. So that's the oil filter housing. It's ready to come out, okay? There you go. Okay. This is the old oil filter, okay, right there, and this is the new one. Now, I have to change all the three gaskets, or what you call O-ring or rubber gasket, using my pick. That's one. See? That's the old one. easy so first we're going to put the big one see second one now I'm going to put the new one in then just give a press not that hard see that's it see as long as it's moving freely you're fine ready to put this new filter in okay let's go okay before we put the oil filter housing back we have to make sure that the uh, surface is clean no debris no nothing just clean it okay so now we're ready to put this housing back there you go squeeze it by your hand okay okay now let's give a little turn okay it's not it's not uh it's not tight yet okay now it's hand tight now we're going to give a little turn not too tight remember so you don't break you won't break the housing 
just made of uh, plastic that's it that's it now we're done on the filter okay now I'm putting the uh, drain plug back don't forget to change the washer they're hand tight and then just a little bit not too tight that's it now we're going to put the oil this is a five five quarts oil but we're needing six quarts now I'm adding another quart okay now we have to do the final check on the oil level so is the dipstick wipe it good put it back take it out again we'll see see the oil should be right here so we did good okay all right Okay, dipstick back, engine oil cap back, okay, I checked the uh, battery, if there's a uh, water outside, but it's dry, it's good, brake fluid, I checked, good, now here's the coolant. It's good also I did check it and then I checked while I'm while I'm underneath underneath the, the vehicle I checked everything so now we're going to reset the maintenance light on the dashboard now I have to take out the start button so I can access the manual key right here Okay, I turn it to position 1. service A is done now the next is service B in 365 days or in a year okay okay guys this is it we're done we save $350 okay guys thank you for watching bye